The equality of men and women is one of the main principles of the Baha'i faith, the most recent of God's religions. Unfortunately, by simply loosening or even abolishing the Islamic dress code in Iran, the root of Iran's issues surrounding the principle of equality will not be solved. Baha'is in Iran, who are considered religious minorities, continue to be arrested on baseless charges and wrongfully accused of being spies. Even with looser dress law restrictions, a fair lifestyle would not be established for all. Some Iranian Muslims are attempting to gain social freedom for themselves. Whether or not the dress code remains in place, religious minorities would still continue to be deprived of the same benefits as Muslims. Ever since the 1979 revolution, the persecution of Baha'is and other religious minorities has been an ongoing issue. According to the Islamic Quran and Sunnah, the obligatory hijab law for women entails coverage of the whole body, except the face. Of course, whether or not to adhere to the hijab law is a personal choice, and all Muslims are entitled to making this decision. And of course, choosing not to do so certainly doesn't warrant any form of persecution. The question is, given that the hijab law was put into effect nearly 1,500 years ago, a law that was perhaps necessary for protecting women during that particular time period, if Muslims now do not believe in the hijab dress code, why do they continue to call themselves Muslims? This is where the independent search for truth comes into play. On the other hand, Baha'is who do not believe in the literal sense of the word hijab or covering. Rather, they believe in inner chastity, purity, and modesty. Furthermore, Baha'is are obligated to obey the laws of a country's government. Whether or not you wear a hijab and whether you are a man or a woman are not the real issues surrounding Iran's freedom. The problem is freedom of religion and ethnicity. If people should be given a choice to wear the hijab, Baha'is and other religious minorities should be given the choice to practice their religion. On Persian national identification cards, Zoroastrianism, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam are listed and recognized. The Baha'i faith is not recognized in Iran, as it is frequently persecuted based on false political accusations. The Baha'i faith is the only religion whose writings have explicitly revealed Baha'is non-involvement in politics. In fact, Baha'is have been instructed through the teachings not to partake in politics, and not even in protests. Baha'is believe in the oneness of God, mankind, and religion, universal peace and harmony, the elimination of all forms of prejudice, equality between men and women, education for all, and many more. Through unifying efforts, Baha'is strive to eliminate discord amongst peoples and rather promote unity, mutual respect, and love amongst men and women of all races and religions. Therefore, it is simply impossible and inconceivable for a Baha'i to be arrested based on political charges. Furthermore, only Baha'is are banned from attending university, working in restaurants or in the food industry, and becoming doctors or working in the field of medicine in Iran. They are not allowed to connect with or contact one another, and non-Baha'is are refrained from keeping contact with Baha'is. It is an effort to isolate Baha'is from other Baha'is and non-Baha'is. Therefore, the hijab dress code issue is only for Muslim women's freedom. Abolishing or amending the dress code law would not change the mentality upheld by some Muslims, who may unfortunately still continue to be prejudiced against religious minorities. So the main problem is freedom of religion. If all seek freedom for all, freedom of religion should be the real focus.